back to Honey Bee Honey. I'm talking about a drone layer versus a working layer today. Uh, right here, you're going to see me point to a queen. And so that is a drone laying queen. This queen in particular actually never mated. So when you're talking about a situation in which you have a drone layer, you either have A, a queen that never mated, or B, a queen that was mated and then over you know a gradual period of time starts running out of sperm and so you see a mix of drone brood and working brood in the same working area of the hive not in drone areas but in in worker cells okay this is a, a healthy hive it's also a brand new hive this is uh, you can see the eggs in the bottom of the cells these are happen to be black uh, plastic super frames from brushy mountain which really make those eggs stand out uh, of course if you have old dark comb it's going to stand out the same way but they're a little shinier in the bottom of the cell so it's harder to see the eggs but you can see the eggs are upright they're in the center of the cell and there are eggs in almost every cell so it's a good laying pattern and the queen and the eggs look exactly the way they're supposed to look just decided to throw this frame in there or this uh, picture in there this is the same queen on the same frame laying an egg and you can see the eggs in the upper left corner there you can see the workers attending to her and uh, this is also something you should normally see so the yellow means 2011 in my case so this these film this these pictures were actually taken way back in 2011 now in this frame you can see it's this, it's a different queen that I took a picture of and you can see larva in the bottom of the cell there you can see they're they're covered in royal jelly and so the, the royal jelly is really cloudy and you have of course you can see the uh, half moon shaped uh, larva in there this is very healthy you want it very wet in there and you want to see uh, larva everywhere so and this of course is a pure beeswax frame it's not that black super frame that I was showing you before but this is also once eggs have hatched and uh, this is what you should see here this is a very healthy hive as well and of course, uh, this is the same hive that had the black super frames, same queen and everything, uh, if memory serves anyway. She's on cat brood, so once the bees have developed to the stage where they their cells are capped, this is what it should look like. You notice how it's flat, and the, these cells happen to be porous, and that's why they have a different look to them than honeycomb does, for those of you that are new to this. Anyway, this is a healthy hive solid cap brood with the queen sitting right on top of it. Now contrast everything you just saw with this frame. This frame has torpedo shaped cell cappings consistent with drone brood. Uh, the drone brood is is typically not in the center of the frame unless it's a drone comb, which this isn't. You can see worker sized cells with drones in them. That's, or at the kind of in the center of the screen at the top, you can see drone cell sized cells in there those were expanded to make room for the, the extra size of a drone. You'll also see lots of drones in a hive like this. And the drones may be small because they were made in worker brood. They're, they're typically smaller than those made in drone cells. Also, with uh, another thing to give you a clue, when a queen is going bad, you'll see not just drone comb like you see here on this frame, but you'll also see some worker comb in the middle of all this. And that means that the queen is is basically laying what she thinks is fertilized eggs in worker cells but she's unable to fertilize them so you get a mix of drone brood and worker brood in the worker brood cell now if you look at this frame at the bottom on the left and the right you can see little patches of drone brood that's where she's supposed to be laying drone eggs or unfertilized eggs but she's not she's laying them up in the worker brood areas which tells you that uh, the, the queen is going bad or, or has gone bad or in this case never made it so is bad period and when I noticed this I actually took this frame and put it in a nuke with another frame just to make sure that because sometimes a new queen will will do that it takes her a day or two or three to to sometimes lay nothing but worker brood in worker cells so you'll get the occasional unfertilized egg in worker cells but that doesn't mean that she won't get better okay in this situation and in most beekeeping situations you're gonna to have to 
perform some type of differential diagnosis. What you're looking for are uh, multiple eggs in a cell and you're looking as to whether or not the egg is upright in the cell at the bottom of the cell or on the side of the cell not always upright grouped, cell, grouped eggs in one cell uh, and of course worker cells being enlarged into drone cells. The first situation is a drone layer that never mated. In this case you can see a whole range of different things but usually because of the extended abdomen of a queen even though she never mated she'll usually put eggs on the bottom of the cell. Sometimes that's not the case. Sometimes they look just like uh, laying workers and in some cases there could be working layers along with her. In the second case the more normal case is a queen that you had that you know was good and then she starts to go bad. You'll see both worker brood and drone brood in the same cavity and the uh, eggs will be placed just like normal at the bottom of the cell straight up. The problem is the queen just doesn't know that she's laying an unfertilized egg. I'm going to show you now a frame, uh, just a still shot of what you'll see consistent with laying workers. Okay, this is a frame consistent with a situation in which you have laying workers. You'll see multiple eggs in a cell. You'll see them on the sides of the cell rather than uh, at the very back bottom of the cell. They, they'll be laying on their sides. The pattern will be chaotic, not systematic at all. And you'll see, the reason you see multiple eggs in a cell is because you usually have dozens of laying workers and they all kind of just lay eggs wherever. They don't check the bottom of a cell like a queen does. So they'll often lay eggs right next to, in a cell, right next to another laying worker's egg. If you look closely at the center of the screen, you'll see a series of four eggs that look kind of like sausages. That is more consistent with a single laying worker laying those eggs, just because it's in that back-to-back uh, -back pattern like that. You'll see that too because oftentimes laying workers will lay multiple eggs in a cell. They can't control it like a queen can. If your diagnosis is that you have a laying worker or dozens of laying workers, what you have to do is trick them into uh, accepting another queen. They think they have a queen because brood, whether it's from a laying worker or from a queen, emits pheromones that suppress laying workers. However, in this case you have laying workers, so those laying workers aren't going to be suppressed by the current level of brood. So the best thing that I know of is to put in three or four frames of cat brood which will suppress the laying workers and then you can introduce a queen. Also, if you put in those four frames of cat brood and you include some eggs uh, or come back three days after that and put some eggs in there, they'll, they will sometimes make their own queen. The age-old adage that you take all the bees and you shake them off 20 or 30 yards from the hive and that the laying workers will not be able to fly back to the hive is a myth. That has never worked for me. I don't know anybody that's actually ever worked for. So get creative, put in some brood, try introducing a new queen, uh, or try to get them to make their own queen. Or you can also, the best, almost foolproof way is to introduce a queen cell. If your diagnosis has determined, or you found a queen, but if your diagnosis determined that you have a uh, drone layer, it's a lot easier, I think, anyway. Uh, first order of business is you got to find the drone layer. You got to find the queen, and you got to you got to take her out. You got to kill her, and then I find it best if you're reintroducing another queen in a cage, like I'm showing right here, that you put the dead queen's body in the hive uh, six to eight hours before you introduce that other queen cage. It can be as much as 24 hours, say the day before. But I find that the best way to take care of a drone layer problem. You can also put in a swarm cell. You can also put in eggs. and you, But you, any way you go about it, you have to find the drone layer and you have to kill her.
if you just aren't sure what problem you have or you don't have time that could be the case too there is something that will usually work in both cases if you can't if you don't know if you have a drone layer or laying workers what you can do is unite them with another strong hive, strong hive that is queen right and I usually use the newspaper method I'll make a video on that one of these days but uniting a hive that has laying workers in it or a drone layer will usually produce a situation in which the new hive that you're uniting them with will go in and kill the old queen or suppress the the uh, instinct of the laying workers okay that is my take on drone layers and laying workers I hope it was of some help to you I'm sorry about the voiceovers and I know I don't have a good microphone for this kind of work but uh, it's all I really have so hope you enjoyed the video hope you learned something and I'll see you next time thanks